Welcome to another week of the Lockdown Lectionary. All the lectionary passages this week focus on the image of the Good Shepherd. We'll be talking about Psalm 23 during worship this week, so I want to take a few minutes and look at the gospel reading from John in which Jesus refers to himself as the Good Shepherd. So today we'll be reading from John chapter 10, verses 10 through 15, and this is Jesus speaking. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. Throughout scripture, we hear and read many descriptions of the good shepherd. And usually this image or title is applied to God implying that we, the people, are the sheep in this metaphor. So it's notable here that Jesus applies this title to himself. It would have been unheard of for anyone else to take that name and mantle upon themselves. But here, Jesus tries to cement in the minds of his followers just what it means to be God incarnate, God in the flesh. What's especially interesting about this particular passage is that Jesus says that his role as the good shepherd is to give us life and that that life would be abundant. The gift of that sort of life lies at the heart of everything that Jesus does. It's his motivation for his ministry and his teachings. So what does it really mean to have life abundant? Well, looking back at Jesus' teachings, we can begin to draw a picture of what it might look like. Abundant life means a life filled with love for God and for one's neighbors. It means living peaceably with people who are different than we are. It means existing in harmony with the natural world around us. It means living in a way that anticipates the peace and wholeness of God's coming kingdom. Now, all that's great. But I think it also leads to the larger question of why it is that Jesus has to lay down his life in order for all of this to happen. I came across this helpful quote from Professor David Loos as I was doing some reading about this passage. He writes, but why? Why does Jesus, the good shepherd, lay down his life to tell us that we are, in fact, enough? Jesus, especially in John's gospel, doesn't die in order to make some kind of payment to God or to satisfy God's wrath or to pay the penalty for sin. Jesus, in John's gospel, is the revealer, the one who comes to make the invisible God visible and the unapproachable God accessible. Jesus comes to reveal that God loves the whole world, no exceptions. How often are we able to navigate our lives without making exceptions? It's not easy, for sure, but we find the answer in some of Jesus' initial words in this passage. I am the good shepherd. All we have to do is follow his lead. Let's pray. God, we thank you for Jesus and for his gifts of ministry and teaching. Help us to have the courage to follow him. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today for the Lockdown Lectionary. If you've enjoyed today's devotional, be sure to like or share it on social media so that others might possibly find it helpful as well. There's a musical selection in the comments below, and I'll see you soon. But in the meantime, be safe, stay at home, and wear your mask. Peace.